In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome pong muli dito sa Basilica. We offer this Holy Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. <clears throat> You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to the seat for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we, your servants, may rejoice in the unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy the eternal happiness. Grant this, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. Drill them into your children. Speak of them at home and abroad, whether you are busy or at rest. Bind them at your wrist as a sign and let them be as a pendant on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your houses and on your gates. When the Lord your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give you a land with fine, large cities that you did not build, with houses full of goods, of all sorts that you did not garner, with cisterns that you did not dig, with vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant, and where therefore you eat your fill. Take care not to forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery. The Lord your God shall you fear, him shall you serve, and by his name shall you swear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord live and blessed be my rock. Exalted be God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed, to David and his posterity forever. I love you, Lord, my strength. Please stand there. Hallelujah. 
Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. A man came up to Jesus, knelt down before him, and said, <clears throat> Lord, have pity on my son, who is a lunatic and suffers severely. Often he falls into fire and open into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said in reply, O faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and from that hour, the boy was cured. Then the disciples approached Jesus in private and said, How could we not drive it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. Amen, I say to you, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa pagsama ng mga disipulo at apostoles ng Panginoon sa Kanya at naramdaman nila na may tiwala talaga sila, hindi lamang kay Jesus, at pati na rin sa kanilang sarili sapagkat medyo nalilinawa na rin sa kanilang kaisipan ang kanilang misyon. Ang misyon nila ay maging katulong ni Jesus. Ngunit sa nabasa ating gospel, sila'y nagtanong, bakit hindi na namin magawa yung nagagawa ni Jesus? Napakasimula ang sagot ng Panginoon kulang inyong paniniwala o pananampalataya. In other words, may humihila pa rin sa kanila. Maraming mga bagay-bagay na kadalasan nag-aalinlangan. Totoo yan kahit sa ating pamumuhay. Kahit ang sinabi na tayong lahat ay uh, nilikha ng Diyos na pantay-pantay, ngunit ang ating uniqueness na ikaw ay ikaw, eh wala kang kapareha, yan tayo nagkakaroon ng difference, no? Kumisan, nakakapagtaka. Gaya sa aming mga pare, no? Meron kami mga pare na sa unit, unang tingin pa lang ng mga bata, lapitin siya. <laughs> hindi, hindi ka maniwa, <laughs> hindi ko hindi mo maintiyan na kung bakit, wala naman siya ginawa. Tumayo lang siyang umiti. Naglapitan yung mga bata. At mayroon rin kami yung pare. Malayo pa, nagtatakbuhan yung mga bata. Hindi naman siya pangit. Gwapong gwapo. Hindi lang yun. Siya bag, yung bagay yung tinatawag natin, mga karisem. Mga katangian natin na kadalasan hindi pa nandedevelop. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, tendency na maingit dun sa iba. Bakit hindi natin magawa yun? Kaya naman natin. Hindi na po tinatanong yun. Gaya po sa pamilya namin. Galing kami sa Bicol. Mga Bicolano, mahusay magluto. Ngayon, kapag may birthday, eh wala kaming magkakapatid eh. Titingnan kung sinong pinaka mahusay na putay na gusto mong lutuin sa birthday mo. Of course, yung mga babae, sigurado, yung mga ate namin, talagang fantastic ang lasa ng mga espagheti, yung mga bihon. Ngunit, hindi nila kumatalo sa paglulutong laing. 
Iyan ang pinagmamalay ko. So, tuwing gitengkit sila, anong sekreto mo? Papa? Hindi pa ako father noon. Na nagagawa yung laig na napakasarap. Hindi lamang yung kuray. Kung kulay yung pagtitiwala natin, kaya nangangamba tayo, ay eh, talagang hindi natin, hindi tayo tumatalima. For example, kung sasakay ka ba sa seroplano, tatanungan mo yung stewardess, sigurado bang marunong ang palipad ng eroplano yung pilot natin? Makakarating ba tayo? Ngunit tiwala tayo, no? Na makakarating tayo sa ating parurunan. Kaya nga sabi ko, yan lang ang kulang sa atin. Nauna, yung inggit, sa halip na tutukan natin yung ating sarili na may mga bagay-bagay dyan na hindi na na-develop na makapakinabangan kung di man natin at iba. Totoo po yun, no? Gaya ng sabihin na natin yung mga doktors. Kung minsan kinakategorize natin mga doktors, no? Oh, nurses na, front lines na. Ay, sabi niya, huwag kang magpagamot yan. Mukhang pera yan. Huwag kang magpagamot yan. Ay, ang malang konsum... Na marami ko kung ano-ano, very negative. Bakit? May pagkakatao naman na yung doktor, kung sa tingin mo ay ganun, ngunit sa pamagitan ng paglinaw sa kanin kaisa pa ng kanilang pagkadoktor ay pagsiservisyo, eh, tanggalin yun. Merong mga doktor na ganun. Marami, marami na ako na, na katsalamuang mga kwento-kwento tungkol sa, sabi niya, Naku, paano ba ito? Ang laki ng bayaran doon sa doktor. Anong magagawa ko? Saan nakukuha ng pambayad? Tatakbuhan ko na lang ba yun? Sa ko, hindi. Puntahan mo, magpakatuto ka, sabihin mong totoo, asiguradong maiintindihan ka, hindi ka mumurahin ng doktor. Kaya, kaya kuminsan kapag, kaya kuminsan, kaya kuminsan, tanong yung mga doktor, bakit ganoon si father naman? Alam niyo naman, tao rin naman kami. Nakakakaintindi kami. Siyempre, ang iba, kung malawag-luwag, no question us, bayad ka kung anong bill mo. Ngayon, kung yung hindi nakaka, tarang kitang-kita mong naghihirap, gumagawa ngunit, may tiwala sa'yo, ipagbigyan mo ng maluwag. Di ba ganoon naman taga sa atin, no? ang buhay natin? Kaya nga, komisyon, inggit na inggit tayo. For example, sa aming mga pare, nakakita yung mga healing priest. Totoo naman, eyewitness ba ako? Nakatiyan ba ako minsan? Sabi, sana, sabi na, sana ganun din ako para marami ako mga magawa. Ngunit hindi, hindi ko magawa. <laughs> hindi, hindi yun ang karismang ibinigay sa akin. Ngunit kahit na hindi yung binigay sa atin, hindi naman nangangulogan na magtampo tayo, magali sa tayo sa Diyos at umiral yung pagkaingit natin, no? Yun ang mali. Yusuli sa ating mga attitudes. Kaya pag ini, pinag-iisipin natin, araw-araw, sa paglipas nito, tingnan nyo kung may pagbabago. Kung isang sabi na, sa tuwing darating araw, lalong bumibigat yung problema namin, lalong nahihirapan ng buhay. Tuming ka pabalik, bakit ka nakarating sa ngayon kung hindi ka dumaan sa kahapon? Malamang na yung kahapon hindi kasi bigat na ngayon, ngunit nalampasan mo. Di ba? Yun ang kadalasan hindi natin tinitingnan. Of course, hindi naman mula nung pagkabata tayo, isipin na natin, ano kayong ma- napakaraming pagpapala. Ngunit ang kailangan lamang, eh, tanggapin natin ang ating sarili. Of course, yun ang number one. Ang mag- may magagawa tayo na hindi kayang gawin ng iba. Gaya, for example, sabi na, ay, siguro si father kaya na yung asawa kasi baka mapangasawa niya, masungit o matapang, maawain ka lang. No, hindi. Di ba, remember, ang babae at lalaki, compliments is other. Hindi <laughs> naman Op- opponent is other. Lagi ko compliment no? Kaya nga bawal mag- magkasawa yung babae sa kababae, lalaki sa lalaki. Kasi they don't compliment is other, no? Kaya yun ang isipin natin. May mga dahilan ang Diyos, no? 
na kadalasan hindi man natin nakikita. Ngunit kung misan pag pinag-iisipan natin, lalong lalo na kung ang tuon ng ating attitude, intention, motivation ay laging positive, no? Titingnan natin sa medyo maayos sa isa naman na kulay, eh, hindi tayo magdaramdam, magtatampo. Sa halip, we try our best na higitan pa ito, no? Kasi kumisan, of course, ang pakaraming sabi natin mga experiences na nagaganap sa araw-araw. Ngunit ang napakalaga, sabi nga, laging paalala sa atin, despite sa mga nangyayari, hindi tayo pinapahirapan ng Diyos. Malamang sabi ng iba, pagsubok lamang. Totoo yun. Ngunit, kapag nagising tayo, laging pinapalala sa, paalala sa atin na meron pa tayong misyon, no? Meron pa tayong magagawa. Huwag pa nating sayangin ang mga darating na araw. Kasi walang tao na hindi ka pakipakinabang na nananatili dito sa mundo. Sa pagkatang Diyos, napakabait. Ganyan tayo, ganyan na dyan nakikita ang kabaitan ng Diyos kahit na hindi pantay-pantay sa tingin natin. Ngunit sabi nga, ganyan ang nabasa natin sa gospel nung last week yata yun. Ang araw, ang ulan, para sa lahat. Hindi yan exclusive. Suwerte nga dito sa, dito sa Pangasinan, hindi ba, wala akong naririnig na baha. Unlike doon sa ibang lugar na, ala, buong buwan na yata, baha. Wala na silang nakitang lupa, kundi tubig sa kanilang uh, palibot ng araw. Ngunit hindi doon yung pinaparasahan. Pasalamat tayo. Eh, eh, Nasa maganda tayo, ay tipagdasal natin na maka, makaraos rin sila sa ganong sitwasyon. No? Sapagkat, sabi nga, hindi natin hawak ang lahat-lahat, lalong-lalo na sabi yung destiny natin. Hindi natin alam kung anong mangyayari bukas sa makalawa o hanggang kailan. Ngunit, yung sa ngayon, sapagkat napaka-importante yun, ay bigyan natin ng palaga o kahulugan. At siguradong mahulugan yan kasi binaya, biniyayaan pa tayo ng Diyos ng pagkakataon na ipagpatuloy ito. Magsitayo po tayo. My brothers and sisters and prayer, we now approach God the Father who has power and authority over all things. After his petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church and her people may be strengthened in their faith and rely on the Lord in trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the hearts of the world leaders may not be hardened and influenced by the evil of selfishness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That hardened sinners may return to God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who find life burdensome through illness may see meaning in their trials, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be brought safely home to the, to the house of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. God our Father, we place before you our needs and pray confidently for your help and mercy. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, many brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with these sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. <clears throat> it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have, uh, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you look on Mary, the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence. May our voices be, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus and exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy. holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May hold it therefore this gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of pain. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, O oh, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Man of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that in the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity and accordance to your will, who live and reign with you forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb, of, Lamb God, of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Marami pong salamat sa pagdalo nyo sa banal na misa at pagdalaw po dito sa Manawag. Ingat lang po sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Per for the blessing of the sick, hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa simbahan na umihiling, na gumiling sa anumang karamdaman. Idamay na, pin- na rin po natin yung mga nasa bahay, na mga nasa hospital, lalong-lalo na yung mga kakilala natin. Nakakarating po yan sa kanila at pinapakinggan niya ng Diyos. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Rosary of Manawag, so that in the same, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. For, for the blessing of the rosaries in our religious articles, if we have them with you, just bring them out. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.